All right, we're going to build up on our, our uh, uppercase example. I'm going to switch to the employees table. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take the first and last name of an employee and stitch them together in an uppercase format. So let me show you what that employee table looks like. So I'm going to do dot schema employee EMPL. E M P L O Y. Thank you. I gotta get my spelling down. Oh, I put that semicolon on the end. Gotta get rid of that. There we go. So you can see the table has a, a last name, a first name, the title, address, and higher data than employee. So let's first start out by saying select, and I'm gonna uh, do this all in uppercase so you guys can really see what's going on here. Select upper, and then And you can see that brings back the first name in uppercase. All right. Now, I'm going to add in the last name. And I'm going to also put this on another line. There's a line continuation here. If you ever get this, it basically ask a light saying, I want more. It doesn't see the end of a semicolon to say, okay, I'm done. It's ready to rock and roll on the statement. So I'm going to type from employees, hit enter. And you see it comes back with uh, James White, Patty Lee, Robert Smith, and Lisa Baker. Kind of hard to read though, aren't they? Because there's no space in between the first and last name. So we can fix that. Let's come back here and put a space in between. So a couple things to point out here. First is the, the double pipe sign, as this thing's called, is basically the it's shift and then the slash key that's right above your enter, all right? And then I'm using the quote key with a space. The quote in SQL means take whatever is in between my quotes as literal. So here we're saying literally I want a space. Take the upper name, add literally a space to it, and then let's do the upper last name. So I'm going to enter that. And then I'm going to say from employees. I'm going to hit enter. And there we go. I got James White, Patty Lee, Robert Smith, Lisa Baker. All easy to read. Though that column name doesn't look good. So let's fix that. So I'm just going to do as an alias as full name. Do the continuation. I'm using the up arrow key to get to a, you know, a, a prior snippet of the command and then hit enter. So one other tip I wanted to point out is that you could actually cut and paste this from a, a notepad. So if you wanted to kind of keep some samples or examples of, of your work, you could keep them in a text document and then just paste them in as well. And I'll show you what that looks like. All right, before we get started, let me show you how you can paste a command into SQLite. This comes in handy when we start getting into more complicated SQL statements. It's a lot easier to edit the command in Notepad or your word processor of choice than it is within um, SQLite. So I'm going to open up this my uh, um, file of samples here. I just got one in here right now. It's one we just were working on. So I'm going to say select upper first name from employees. I'm going to copy it. Come to SQLite. Make sure I'm on the cursor. And then right click and say paste. So it pasted in the command. Hit, and when I hit enter, it's going to run it. Hit enter, and it ran. 